In this video, we're going to solve this equation right here. x divided by 4 plus 1 equals negative 3, um, with an emphasis on uh, how we can write a nice algebraic solution and how we can check that um, in a nice formal way. So the question is word worded, find the value of x that makes x divided by 4 plus 1 equal to negative 3 true. That means just exactly the same as asking someone to find the solution to the equation. Um, so we want to know what number goes in here that would make the two sides the same or equal. Um, so we'll start off, copy down our equation. We've got x divided by 4 plus 1 equal to negative 3. And we're going to try to isolate x or to get x all alone. So first of all, we'll sort of get rid of this plus 1 here. So I've just copied the equation again. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract 1 from both sides. Because if you add 1 and then you take it away, that's like you didn't add it at all. In the, at all. So we'll subtract 1 from both sides. And that will give us just x divided by 4 on the left. That was the point of doing that. We'll think carefully here with negatives. If we have negative 3 and we take another one away, uh, we'll go down one more to negative 4. All right, so we've got x divided by 4, or a fourth of x, equals negative 4. Now we think, what operation could we do to get rid of this divided by 4? Well, we can just do the opposite operation. So we can multiply by 4. And because we multiplied one side by 4, if we want to keep these two sides the same or equal, which is what that means, we have to multiply the other side by 4. So x divided by 4 times 4 just gives us x. And 4 times negative 4 is negative 16. All right, so there's our solution. That's the value of x that we think makes these two things true. And I'm just going to do a nice formal check here to sort of review how we can check this in a nice way that's logically uh, clear. So first of all, we'll write down that we're just checking so someone looking at our work didn't get confused. And I'll copy the equation down here too. x divided by 4 plus 1 equals negative 3. Make sure you copy it from the original source, just in case you made a mistake copying it down. All right, so what we want to know is, is are these two things the same when we replace our x with negative 16? So this is what we're going to do. We're going to write, we'll write it as a question, so that anyone looking at our work knows we're just checking. We want to know, are they the same? And I'm going to replace my x with negative 16. Put that in brackets, I think. So I've replaced the x with negative 16, so we're going to divide that by 4 and add 1. We want to know, is that the same as negative 3? And as we, um, sim as we check this, we want to just calculate what the left side is equal to, and every time we're going to ask, is it equal to negative 3? And hopefully, at the end, we will, in fact, get negative 3. This is the kind of thing that you can probably do in your head, but it's better to just quickly write down um, so that the person looking at your work knows what happened. All right, negative 16 divided by 4 is negative 4. So we've got negative 4 plus 1 on this side. And we're checking, is that equal to negative 3? Question mark. And then negative 4 plus 1. Yeah, that's negative 3. So is negative 3 equal to negative 3? Yes, of course. So what that tells us is that x equals negative 16 is indeed a solution to this equation here. x divided by 4 plus 1 equals negative 3. Alright, good luck with it.